curiosity, passion, friendship and teamwork represent the key principles of our team. We are Team Diana from Politecnico di Torino by Italy. Hundreds of students have participated since 2008 for the creation of lunar and Martian rovers. Now we proudly present our new creation, the rover Ardito. There are currently 58 students that come from all the several engineering areas working in the team. Some groups are then organized in departments that are mechanics, electronics, computer science and management. Special standalone groups are the scientific research group, media and design and the leading board. A responsible is designated for each element of this structure so that the roles and the responsibilities cover all the aspects of the activities, from a specific to a more general point of view. There are the group's coordinators that handle the planning of the specific technical tasks, the leader of the departments that manages the workflow of the different technical areas and the groups, and a team leader for the decision-making coordination made for the contribution of all the team members and for the general organization. The leading board has been created as a communication bridge in which all the major topics are being conveyed for discussion. For us, ERC represents the opportunity to challenge our capabilities and give the best of ourselves as individuals and as a team. The mobility system is based on a rocker buggy configuration and is equipped with custom design elastic wheels. This enables Ardito with the capability to adapt and traverse irregular terrains. The navigation system has been tested on virtual simulations with the software Copelius and is able to overcome several kinds of obstacles and slopes. The rover maximum speed has been set up to 1 meter per second, following the rules limitations. In case of emergency, two industrial-grade emergency buttons placed on both sides of the rover pilot a solid-state relay that can instantly disconnect the power supply from the rest of the rover. Ardito is able to interact with the surroundings thanks to a 6-degree freedom robotic arm, an inverse kinematics controller and a modular and defector. This makes the rover capable to collect objects from the ground and to perform maintenance operations in a precise way. To give the operator and the autonomous system a better awareness of the operations, the end effector has been equipped with pressure, force and distance sensors, a camera and some laser pointers. The arm operator is aided by a 3D reconstruction of the environment with the feedback about the arm position. The operator in the navigation software can see the environment due for several cameras placed on the rover. A stereo camera mounted on a gimbal on top of the robotic arm and two other cameras placed on the end effector and under the soil sampling system. The rover can generate and optimize real-time 3D point cloud of the surroundings. Computer engineering students in the team have designed and developed an algorithm to recognize obstacles and plan navigation tasks across uneven terrains. This makes use of the RTT STAR algorithm and a custom logic to coordinate all the systems while in autonomous mode. 
Thanks to these systems, Ardito can reach the target location in a fast, efficient and safe way. Ardito is connected to the base station console thanks to a Wi-Fi link with a low balance system over the 2.4 GHz and the 5 GHz frequencies. All the rover modules are connected via Ethernet and can communicate over the MQTT protocol. The scientific payload consists of a small laboratory system that can perform analysis on samples collected from the ground and able to conduct experiments in order to detect the presence of life. The sample can be collected and placed by the arm inside a testing container that can measure the humidity and the temperature of the soil. The collected sample is then moved into a centrifuge, which allows to collect any potential bacteria and analyze them through a digital microscope. This technique is made with the usage of a Tripen Blue SA. Images from the microscope are streamed to the operator for a real-time analysis of the samples. Ardito is equipped with a deep sampling system, specifically designed by the team to go through soils with different levels of compactness and grain size distribution. This system permits to visualize the punctual stratigraphy of Mars soil and provide undisturbed samples suitable for further laboratory analysis. Despite the situation occur from the COVID health emergency and all the challenges related to the project, we all have managed to give our best and to make Ardito to be at this point of the development process. We are proud of what we managed to do as a team and we look forward to the competition and to prove ourselves at the European Rover Challenge.